Mountain gorillas are a species in intensive care. Around 700 remain in the wild, and everything humanly possible is done to keep them safe. The mountain gorilla vets are a vital part of this effort. Today I'm going to Congo to check our two mountain gorilla orphans in the temporary facility in Goma. Goma is not the right climate. We have lots and lots of health problems because of that. The hope is that the two orphan gorillas will pass Magda's health check and be moved from the hot, dusty town to their new home in the forest. Magda is happy that the orphans are healthy. They are driven two hours to their new home. They can never go back into the wild, as it's unlikely they would be accepted into a group. But they have each other, and their new home is as close as can be to the forest they came from. In Rwanda, abandoned infant Umoja stays close to her father, Kwitonda. Since her mother left the group for another male, she's become completely dependent on her remaining parent. The quality of her father's childcare could make the difference between life and death. A storm is brewing above the Virunga volcanoes. Omoja is ill-equipped for the harsh weather. Adult gorillas rely on their shaggy coats to keep them warm in the damp high altitude. But infants need a mother's embrace. As the light fades, this is no night for a three-year-old gorilla to be sleeping alone. It's 6 a.m. All around, mothers and their infants emerge from their nests, but there's no sign of a moja. Her silverback father is one of the last to wake, and he seems reluctant to leave the leafy nest. He's not alone. Omoja is at his side. The motherless infant must have climbed in during the long, wet night to share her father's warmth. The little gorilla still has difficult times ahead, but Quitonda is growing into his role as a hands-on father. In the Virungas of Rwanda, the world's largest group of mountain gorillas, led by silverback Kantsby, are heading down the volcano towards the bamboo zone on the edge of their protected area. But there's a problem. Kantsby's sister caught her arm in a freshly laid snare. If it isn't removed, she could lose the whole limb and possibly even her life. Before the snare rope can be cut from the gorilla's wrist, Dr. Spellman needs to immobilize her with an anesthetic dart. That's not an easy task. If they become suspicious of Dr. Spellman and the team, they will attack. For the procedure itself, Dr. Spellman must go it alone. She is now within a few meters of the group. There's good news. Dr. Spellman managed to anesthetize the gorilla and remove the snare. A mountain gorilla has been saved, and Kantsby's family is still 46 strong.